tired of creator new brand which has been out for a while now called golf le fleur he's put out some fragrances he's done the thing that i kind of wanted to do when i when i was thinking about having a brand like hey instead of coming out with just clothes straight away why not start to do like other things like maybe start to do accessories maybe start to do fragrances wallets and then kind of build it up sort of like in a reverse so like i was thinking in my head when it comes to brands why not try and start with a diffusion line then lead it up to into a mainline brand that's kind of how i was thinking about it. let's try and flip it um upside down and start doing something fresh and tyler created done something fresh and new with golf le fleur because it's basically the grown-up version of golf and essentially it's his ability to sort of like do more fun interesting creative things that are more probably in line with his actual interests when it comes to traveling when it comes to fragrances when it comes to clothing design and shit and this recent collaboration with lacoste for me is an indication of maybe how underrated and talented he might be as a designer and i think might be a good prediction as to maybe why you might see tyler creator taking up a job as a fashion director for a big brand or something coming up very very soon because this collection with lacoste this collaboration is very very good i'm not gonna lie so it says as follows um no, not says as follows but it's a collaboration with lacoste you see here on the site we've got the lookbook we've got this lovely cardigan with these amazing pearl um buttons with this gold sort of like ribbon reef design on the outside i think it's pearl or it might be some something else to crystal i don't know what that is i think it's pearl in this lovely kelly green color that tyler's kind of known for sort of like his signature color right this sort of like kelly green forest green type of colorway you've also got this amazing um knitwear i think what is that is that like a i'm just sure what that is that looks i look it must look like a, it looks like what you call a cable knit but it's made into like a, a polo which looks fucking beautiful again with the two buttons here with that same sort of motif on it with the pearls you've got another great classic lacoste tee you've got an amazing um varsity jacket looking type of one with no elastic ribbing on the bottom which i really love the effect of you've got a nice um herringbone i guess what's it called herringbone or check print sort of shirt there the guy or the guy or girl whoever this is modeling kind of looks a little bit ian connor in this picture here to be honest it's got that sinister sort of smile you've got this really nice cardigan again and you've got the polo there worn once more and i actually want to see what it looks like in the storm so and obviously a t-shirt but to me this was maybe an indication that maybe tyler has the ability to be able to design for a, you know a major house sometime very soon we might actually see that a brand he might be one of the undercover people coming up that no one really thought of that could potentially um have the ability and option to kind of take over some of these big places we might actually see it because this stuff for the cost was surprisingly very very well done very well put together to the point where i'm thinking hey if this happened like i could see him definitely get a role somewhere and again even the even the the trailer advertisement that he put together the little short film was really well done also and sort of did a good job of sort of depicting the sort of stuff that he was trying to get across when it comes to the collection itself but if we see it available here in the store all the all the things lining up you've got the cream knit cardigan you've got the herringbone jacket Her harrington jacket sorry not herringbone Har harrington jacket um you've got the varsity jacket you've got a blue sweater vest you've got a green crew knit cardigan you've got a green long sleeve knit polo nip the the obviously the green pk polos you've got tan pleated trousers you've got pleated skirt socks like really well done and of course some necklaces a necklace and a bracelet but let's check through some of the things let's go to the harrington jacket itself because i want to know what that print is i'm not sure if it's tartan if it's herring but it says here a four sorry a collared uh jacket in a jacket twill featuring a center front zip front welt pockets and contrasting lining accented by pearl buttons at the cuffs and co-branded crocodile at the chest so it's a what they say a jacket twill print that looks fucking beautiful i'm not going to lie that looks really 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 good let's go to some of the next pictures here oh yeah you've got some of the buttons here the, on, on the cuffs and on the back where you meant to cinch the jacket it looks really well done not going to lie i really do enjoy how that's been put together you've got this lovely round pull um zip here on the jumper itself i love the tonal logo so it doesn't stick out too much then across the floor here as well 
and then more details in the buttons too where's that other badge okay the other badge is here at the bottom as well you could obviously debadge that if you want to make it look a little bit more classy by not having a white label on there but i don't really mind the white label not gonna lie another of my favorites is definitely this varsity jacket this is definitely one of my favorites um i think it's like 500 dollars isn't it if last time i checked yeah it's like oh even more 8.95 yeah damn is it sold out any other sizes no okay is it sold out in excel let's see it must be sold out in excel okay it's not sold out interesting large and okay still very available but um yeah classic um colligate jacket in a warm wool featuring ribbed cuffs contrasting piping and snap closures front and back i sent it with co branded patches as well as a uh chain stinch um embroidery and of for an authentic feel i love the look of it man it looks fucking beautiful to be fair I love the fact that he hasn't got the ribbing or the elastic cuff um, at the bottom here. You kind of got this really straight, flat design. I love the look of it. It sort of looks like a varsity jacket version of a coach jacket, if that makes any complete sense. But again, nice little logo design here on the back. Le Fleur Lacoste on the back as well, embroidered with the massive crocodile print on there on the back too. Logo, sorry. And of course, some of the pockets on the inside and other bits and pieces on there. So like I said before, I've got a feeling maybe Tyler, the creator, might be an undercover person to consider for some of the big fashion jobs out there. He's got the necessary fame. He's got the clout. He's got the design chops. He's got the fan base to really make a bit of a crazy leap and be the main guy that's sort of like in charge of designing everything that they do going forward. Like imagine if the Lacoste thing is such a success that they're like, you know what? come in house and be our lead creative on these sort of things going forward that might actually be a sick thing to see in the future so keep your eyes peeled for it again tyler Cray is always surprising to see his evolve you know him evolving little by little with his collection he's doing over there with flipping golf and all the other stuff that he does and i can't wait to see how it develops over the future so big up to the creator this stuff looks absolutely impressive really amazing and i can't wait to see what else he does in the future going forward i can't wait to see what else in the future he does going forward